What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Tsukimichi, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. If you like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing Tsukimichi episode 3, and when we review episodes of anime, we're usually recapping and sort of doing a play-by-play -play and giving our impressions. Kimichi episode 3, the most exciting part for me was Makoto, as usual. Maybe it's because he's the protagonist, but uh, it explains how bad his communication with humans is. So Makoto went to visit a human town because he was being a little overwhelmed by the excessive demi-humans he's interacting with because after he named the Shen and the black spider, the Shen's name now is Tomoe and the black spider's name is Mio. And after they got named, their stats increased. I say stats because their strength increased, but I don't know what exactly it is. So I'm going to say stats. Anyways, after they got named, they brought in their followers. So Mio brought in Alke, which are like spider people. Yeah, spider people. They're kind of like a racking, but they don't have like a human torso and up. It's still like spider looking. Tomoe, she brought in mist dragons. So, oh, lizards, lizards, mist lizards. They're not really dragons, they're lizards, but they're descendants of dragons. The orcs were there because those were the first race of demi-human that Makoto encountered. And then there's dwarves, which were brought in by that dwarf that Makoto saved, or actually Tomoe saved. And the dwarves came in, and that part was actually funny because his name is Burn, I believe. He wants to bring in his people, but he's like, oh, oh. I'm going to have to convince them to come over. And Tomoe gave him, oh, here, take these. And she gives him her scales from her dragon form. And they had like this funny scene where it looked like a corrupted magistrate and a trade broker. <laughs> that was really funny. It was good. And that definitely brought in the dwarves in. So we know that there's going to be a lot of merchandise made, meaning... uh items, accessories, maybe houses would be built, architecture, something. We know there's going to be a lot of crafting with the dwarves. Along with the dwarves, something interesting was said. It was a very small scene, but the head of the dwarves, his name is Eld, <laughs> Eld of the Elder Dwarves, he was talking to Makoto and was asking if Makoto was here on a mission from the goddess. And Makoto was like, hell no, I hate that goddess. This is what happened to me. And El replied, good, we don't like the goddess either. And I'm thinking, ooh, do a lot of demi-humans not like the goddess because the goddess has discrimination? Something to keep an eye out on, I think. Now, Makoto has been interacting with orcs, dwarves, algae, and lizards. He needs to be around humans now. He feels really like... There's too many. <laughs> you need some human interaction. So he goes to a human town. And before that, he encounters a human girl. And what's interesting is when he's talking to her, her voice is distorted. And she runs away from him because he's scary. He's ugly. And he, she couldn't understand him. And then he goes further closer to the town. And everybody's armed they want to fight him and so funny because he goes back home he's like all sad he's like i'm so sorry for being ugly like what's wrong with me how come no one could understand me and emma tomoe and the other like you don't know the common language we know the common language and because it's like what how can you know the common language and he's like determined that he'll know it because the goddess remember she gave him a gift, quote, gift, quote, it's not really a gift, uh, to have him understand languages other than human. So it's sort of like she cursed him to not know the human language, which is, which is called the common language. So he's studying it, and what's interesting is he can't 
speak it, but he can read and write. Fortunately, he has magic that he can uh, exhibit characters. So he can talk, just not by voice. Then the other thing he needs to work on is his mana. So according to Emma and others, his mana, he's not able to suppress it. Well, he can, but only a little bit. And to others, he looks like a demon lord. <laughs> he looks like an army of demon lords. And he's only able to suppress a little bit of it. So that he, now he needs equipment he needs accessories to help suppress his mana he's able to do that all right cool so he has a mask to hide his face because that town knows what he looks like he knows how to talk communicate and he has something to suppress his mana all right he's gonna go come away and mia go with him and he's like why you gotta come with me and they're like no we have to go with you <laughs> And they go into town. Now the town part, I'm like, man, I was more excited in the demi plane area because there, it's funny. <laughs> it was funny there. There was interactions with demi humans. I find demi humans more interesting, and I think it's just very comedic how Tomoe and Mio are so subservient to him, while Tomoe wants to be a servant a warrior for makoto and mio she wants to be of service in any type of way <laughs> and it's not like super romantic it's literally being subservient it's not like i want him to fall in love with me because i love him it's more like i just want him to give me attention which I like. There's no jealousy. If there is jealousy, it's more like competition. A good example is when they do visit the town, they go to the Adventure Guild. Of course, they go to the Adventure Guild and they get a assessment. Tomoe was like 1320, I think her level was, but Mia was 1500. And Tomoe is like, what? No, I need to redo this. And everyone in the adventures goes like, what do you mean you want to redo? That's like a really high level. <laughs> now, there is someone that they mentioned that does have a high level. Because Tomoe asks like, okay, so if I'm this 13, 20 level, who's under me? And they said this girl named Sophia who's called a dragon slayer. And they showed what she looked like. And I'm thinking, we're definitely going to see her. And... Uh, told me it's like a dragon slayer what dragon did she slay and the name of the dragon is called lancer and so i was like lancer like told me knew who lancer was well i think i think that's obvious because they're all dragons maybe all dragons knew each other maybe they all hung out once upon a time and they just dispersed all over the world so i'm thinking that we're gonna encounter sophia sometime in the series i don't know when though <laughs> then in the town, Koto is posing as a merchant's son. And they came in with fruits and such. Now, people are following them and they think they're being followed because they're gonna be attacked, robbed and such. And at the end of the episode, they're sort of setting up to be attacked so they can apprehend these people following them, right? But at the end of the episode, a little girl pops up. Totally think that she's part of this group and she's being used as a type of bait or something or to lure them to somewhere. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure all three of them are going to be able to retaliate, fight back against these people who are following them. I'm thinking there's like something really shady happening. And I hope it's really good because... I need a little bit more excitement in these episodes. I'm only getting like one or two really good fighting scenes. I need more special effects. Give me more. Like, I appreciate the comedy. I do. But I want more action. Yeah, that's my take on Tsukimichi episode 3. <laughs> if you saw the episode, what did you think about it? Like, if there's anything that I missed and you wanted to talk about, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen the episode, what is your impression so far? 
leave them in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash superfina if you watch these videos like to stop by the stream outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we are interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lihua and this is a superfina channel reviewing tsukimichi episode 3 hope you guys like this video and i'll see you on the next one Laters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.